we are covering predefined functional interfaces and in this video we are going to cover our third predefined functional interface which is function if you look at the definition of function interface you see there are two generic type parameters t and r and it has only one abstract method so this t is an input parameter to that abstract method and r is the written type of that abstract method so if you want to create a lambda for function functional interface then we have to write like this and here this is a function which takes employee as an input argument and it returns string so the implementation would be a lambda which takes employee as an input argument and it returns city of an employee as a string so that's why it's a valid function so the important thing to note here in function functional interface is that the lambda implementation of function functional interface takes any type of object as an input argument and it can return any type of object so if you remember we had seen supplier which was able to only return any type of object and we had seen consumer which was able to only consume any type of object right now if we combine both of them we get function which can take any type of object and can return any other type of object and this function functional interface has two default method and one static method and we are going to see they are working in IntelliJ ID. Now, if you see here, we have a list of students. And what is the content of student list? We have seven students in our list, and each student has name, city, and age. Now, if you see here, we have defined function here. So this function takes student as an input argument and it returns string. So the lambda implementation of this function functional interface also takes student object as an input argument and it returns string. And if I try to change it from get city to get age which is returning an integer value it will not allow us to compile because it says bad return type because you said the functional interface function is returning string but we are returning integer so that is not possible if i change it to integer then it will allow us to write this lambda here but currently we will be using get city because it is returning string now the next important thing to note here is in the streams api we have a map method and this map method is one of the most widely used streams apis and the input parameter type of this map method is function functional interface now what we are doing here is we are streaming each element of student list and then we are mapping student object into string that means we are converting student object into cities and then we are correcting it to a new list and if i run this program here this map will convert student object into string object and if you see the output here it has written a list of cities and if i try and write another function which is a function of string that means it takes an input argument of string and it returns integer now it takes a city and it counts the number of characters in city so basically this function will get string and will return the number of characters in the city and now what we can do is we already have a city from student right so that means we are converting student object into string object and now we have one default method which we can use is and then that means first it will invoke this function and then we can invoke count of cars in city after invoking this first function and now this function returns us integer right so that's why it will return a list of integer now if i execute this program we will get list of integers so if you see here what we have got is list of integers and why we got list of integers is because what we have done here is we have mapped student object into string object that is student object into cities and then we converted city into number of characters into city so that's why we have got four for pune and six for mumbai and that's how we can also use and then method on function functional interfaces similarly we have compose method compose method changes the order of function execution so if you see here we have reverse the order first it will execute city of student and then it will execute what is on the left that is the count of cars in city so i prefer to use and then but compose is also there if someone asks you what compose does then it just execute the functions from right to left and if i execute this program it will return the same output exactly same output right now there is one more method in function 
functional interface that is identity as a static method if i write dot map function dot identity that means what it is doing is it is mapping student to a same student so the equivalent function to this function dot identity would be if i write this function here function of student which return student so if you see here function dot identity is doing nothing it is just taking student object and it is returning as it is this line here is same as this function dot identity and we are going to see why do we even need function dot identity in upcoming videos where we'll be using grouping by or map functions in collectors so to summarize function takes input argument of any type and it returns any type of object and in streams api we have a map function which takes function functional interface as its input parameter and in function functional interface we have two default method and in and compose apart from that we also have one static method which is function dot identity so that is it for function interface and in next video we are going to see unary operator which is a subtype of function so thank you have a great day bye bye